Good day everyone. So for today's video, we will discuss the element of short story and there are six elements. These are the setting, characters, plot, conflict, point of view, and theme. So first is setting. The setting of a story is the context in a scene or story that describe the elements in which a story is taking place, time, weather condition, social condition, and mood or atmosphere. Each component in story setting helps to build the narrative's mood, plot, and character development. Place. Place is geographical location where in action of the story taking place. Time. When is the story taking place? Historical period, time of day, and year. Weather condition. It is rainy, sunny, or stormy. Social conditions. What is the daily life of the characters like? Does the story contain local color? Writing the focuses on the speech, dress, uh, mannerism, customs, and many more of a particular place. Um, mood or atmosphere. What feeling is created at the beginning of the story? It is bright and cheerful or dark and frightening. Author often use descriptions of landscape, scenery, building seasons or weather to provide a strong sense of setting. Characters Character is a person or sometimes even an animal who takes part in the action of a short story or a piece of literary work. A story usually includes a number of characters, each with a different role or purpose, regardless of how many characters a story has. However, there is almost always a protagonist and antagonist. Central characters. These characters are vital to the development of the story. The plot revolves around them. Main character. Those who are most important in the story. The protagonist is the main character of a story. He or she has a clear goal to accomplish or a conflict to overcome. Although protagonists don't always need to be admirable, they must command an emotional involvement from the audience. Minor characters, usually static or unchanging. The antagonists oppose protagonists, standing between them and their ultimate goals. The antagonist can be presented in the form of any person, place, things, or situation that represents a tremendous obstacle to the protagonist. Good day everyone, I am Lloyd Ballesteros. Let's proceed to the plot. Plot is a sequence of events in a story or play. We have three kinds of plot. First, linear plot. Linear plot moves with the natural sequence of events where actions are arranged sequentially. Second, circular plot. Circular plot, a kind of plot where linear development of the story merge with an interruption in the chronological order to show an event that happened in the past. Third, and we just rest. A kind of a plot where the story commences in the middle part of the action. We have also here the five stages of plot. First, introduction. The beginning of the story where the characters and settings is revealed. Second, rising action. This is where the events in the story become complicated and the conflict in the story is revealed. Third, climax. This is the highest point of interest and the turning point of the story. The reader wonders what will happen next or will the conflict be resolved or not. Fourth, falling action. The events and complications begin to resolve themselves. The reader knows what has happened next and if the conflict was resolved or not. Fifth, the nomad. This is the final outcome or untangling of the events in the story. Conflict. The conflict occurs when the interests of the protagonist and antagonist collide. There are numerous types of, con of conflict in various stories, but they can be broadly classified 
as external conflict and internal conflict. Two major types. First, external conflicts occurs between a character and something outside of the character's control, such as another character, nature, society, or fate, during the story's rising action or climax. He or she must resolve this conflict. Internal, when a character struggles with something within themselves, such as fear or insecurity, internal conflict occurs. Resolving internal conflict enables the character to evolve in a dynamic manner. Good day everyone, I am Gemma M. Espanto, your next reporter. So what is point of view? Point of view is the angle from which the story is told. It determines who tells the story as well as the relationship that the narrator has to the characters in the story. Writers use point of view to express the personal emotions of either themselves or their characters. The narration of a story can be told in three ways, and these are the first person, second person, and third person. Let us discuss first the first person point of view. In this, the narrator is the person in the story telling the story from their own own point of view and ang karaniwang ginagamit dito is I, me, my, and pwede ring we, us, at our kapag marami ang tinutukoy. The narrator may be the main character, an antagonist, or a minor character observing the action. Move naman tayo sa second person point of view. A second person narration is a little used technique of narrative in which the action is driven by a character ascribed to the reader. The reader is immersed into the narrative as a character involved in the story. And itong point of view na ito is for the person or people being addressed. And the biggest indicator of the second person is the use of second person pronouns, which are the you, your, yours, yourself, and yourselves. And last is yung third person point of view. So dito, yung narrator is outside siya sa event ng story. And this point of view is the most commonly used perspective because of all the options it offers. And the most commonly used pronouns include he, him, she, her, it, they, them, and etc. Also, third-person narration can be further classified into several types, and these are the omniscient, limited, and objective. So first na tatalakayan natin is yung third-person omniscient. Omniscient means all-knowing, and likewise, an omniscient narrator knows every character's thoughts, feelings, and motivations even if the character doesn't reveal any of those things to the other characters. In short, wala kang maitatago dito kasi alam niya lahat. Doon naman tayo sa third person limited. Here, yung narrator is nag -e siya outside the event of the story. Pero hindi niya alam kung ano yung motivation or thoughts ng characters. Di gaya dun sa omniscient na alam niya lahat. And yung third person objective naman is the narrator reports the event that take place without knowing the motivations or thoughts of any of the characters. And that's all about the different types of point of views. Good day everyone, I am April Anelina. We are in the last major elements of the story. It is the team. The team in its definition, it is the controlling idea or the central insight. In that perception, the team can be expressed as general statement about life or human nature. It is individual in conflict with society's institution, spiritual struggles, and morality. It can be indirectly, but they mostly use directly stated the team by the author or the actors in the story. It is the author's underlying meaning or main ideas that the, he, the author, is trying to convey. 
where in this meant the message or purpose were the meaning behind events and characters' actions showcasing in a story. It can be one word that embodies what a story is trying to say, or it can be a longer phrase. Must take note that it's not flat summary of the story. And the theme of a story is not the same as its subject, which is the actual topic of the story. An example is J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter. According to her, one of the major themes in the books is death. She once stated that her books are largely about death. They open it with the death of Harry's parents. There is Voldemort's obsession with conquering death and his quest for immorality at any price, the goal of anyone with magic.